Hi everyone, welcome to Food with Chetna. I have a very special guest with me today, Kate, and we are going to do lots of baking together. So thanks for joining us. We're going to start with a lovely caramel sauce, um, and you can add some salt to it, make it salted caramel, lovely. which Kate I think loves to I use. Do. Yes. Who doesn't like salted caramel? Who doesn't like salt? Yeah, and caramel. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so we're going to do that today. And we're going to start with um, 200 grams of granulated sugar and we're going to add two tablespoons of water. So we've started with making the caramel and I have just put this on medium heat but I'll just let it cook through until it becomes golden brown colour. How do you make your caramel? I make it like that, I don't do any measurements. <laughs> yes. Just pour a load of sugar in a little bit of water. But basically, the people worry about the water measurements, yeah. but that all evaporates anyway. Yes, yes, I, I think that's right. It just gives you a bit more time. Yes, but I think the measurements, I don't, I don't think, I think the measurements are important if you're making a sauce. Yeah. It's gone really lovely golden brown, so I'm going to lower the heat and I'm going to add 90 grams of unsalted butter. The best bit is that once the caramel sauce is ready, you can use it with so many yeah, different you can do things. Loads of things with it. So you can turn it into toffee. This is basically toffee. Yeah. Isn't it? I think you know the best part is that in the caramel sauce you can add lots of flavors to it. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes I've added a tiny bit of cardamom. I was going to say, cardamom. I bet you have added yeah. cardamom. Um, <laughs> Mango. <laughs> no! <laughs> Pour it over mango then, you know. It's called the king of fruits in India. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, so there's you're a not reason. Any mango today, no. Just because so you'll say, oh, is it mango again? <laughs> I'm just basically what I want to do is is blend the butter properly. Yeah. Because right now it's separated. And I've noticed that it if you just keep Stirring. stirring it, it does go really nice, which it is almost is going now. So it sort of goes all shiny and yes. oh, it does really yummy. It actually smells really nice too. See, oh, it's good. now it's done. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. So it's all one lovely sauce. And now we're going to add this double cream to it, which is 120 ml of double cream. Let it cook for another one minute. Cool it down for 10 minutes and then store it in an airtight box and leave it in the fridge for, I sometimes leave it for three, four weeks and yeah. it's absolutely fine. Yeah. And whenever you need it, just reheat it in for a few seconds in the microwave and it's again runny and lovely and sauce consistency. So um, give this a go and uh, if you like this recipe, do subscribe and come back for more exciting recipes. Mm -hmm.